Here we have a sad math question. Okay, let's go to the information. In the x-y plane, what is the y-coordinate of the point of intersection of the graphs of y equals to x negative 1, the whole square, y equals to 2x negative 3? Okay, here we have uh, two equations and uh, we have to find the y-coordinate of the point of intersection of the graphs given by these two equations. So to get y-coordinate of the point of intersection, uh, so for the graphs of the given two equations, so we have to solve uh, the given two equations. So for that, what I'm going to write is I'm going to write y equals to y. So for this y, I'm just going to use a stuff which is equal to y in the first equation. That is x negative 1, the whole square. Okay, for the y on the right side over here, I'm going to uh, use a stuff that is equal to y in the second equation. That is 2x negative 3. So now I'm solving the given two equations uh, to get the y coordinate of the point of intersection. Okay, now, uh, so here in this equation, we have the variable x. So I can solve for x in this uh, variable. So that represents the x coordinate at the point of intersection of the graphs of the given two equations. Once I get the x coordinate, I mean the x value in this equation, I can plug in uh, the value for x either into the first equation or into the second equation to get the value of y, uh, which represents the y coordinate of the point of intersection. Okay, so to solve for x in this given equation, first we have to expand this, uh, expand the square of the binomial over here. That is the x minus 1, the whole square. So since we have square for this x minus 1, we can write x minus 1 twice. So x minus 1 times x minus 1 equals to 2x negative 3. Okay, now let's multiply these two binomials using FOIL method. That is, uh, first we have to multiply the first terms, x times x is x square. Now we have to multiply the outer terms, x and negative 1. When I multiply x and negative 1, it will be negative x. Now let's multiply the inner terms, negative 1 times x is negative x. Now let's multiply uh, the last terms, negative 1 and negative 1 will become positive 1 equals to uh, 2x negative 3. Now I'm getting x squared. When I combine negative x and negative x, I'm getting negative 2x positive 1 equals to 2x negative 3. So now we are getting a quadratic equation. But usually when we have a quadratic equation, uh, we write it in the uh, form ax squared positive bx positive c equals to 0. That is, uh, we must have everything on the left side. On the right side, we must have 0. So that we can solve the quadratic equation. So either by factoring or using quadratic formula. So now uh, we have to write the quadratic equation over here in this form. So that is, we just have to make the right side 0. To make the right side 0, I have to get rid of this 2x and I have to get rid of this negative 3. So to get rid of the 2x, I subtract 2x from both sides. And to get rid of this negative 3, I'm adding 3 to both sides. So when I do so, uh, so this... Uh, 2x, negative 2x will cancel out, negative 3, positive 3 will cancel out. On the left side, I'm getting x squared. When I combine negative 2x and negative 2x, I'm getting negative 4x. When I combine this positive 1 and positive 3, I'm getting positive 4 equals to 0. Okay, now I have the quadratic equation, x squared, negative 4x, positive 4 equals to 0. I think uh, we can try to solve this quadratic equation by factoring. So whenever I try to solve a quadratic equation by factoring, first I have to look at the coefficient of x squared. So what is the coefficient of x squared? I mean, what number do we have in front of the uh, x square? Actually, we don't find any number in front of x square. So that is, we have to assume there is 1. So the coefficient of x square is uh, just 1. In that case, I have to consider only the constant term of the quadratic equation, that is positive 4. Okay, now I have to get two factors uh, for this positive 4, so that uh, the product of the two factors uh, I'm writing over here must be equal to positive 4. And when I add the two factors over here, must be equal to the coefficient of x in the equation, that is negative 4. I think uh, negative 2, negative 2 will work. When I multiply negative 2 and negative 2, I'm getting positive 4. When I add them, I'm getting negative 4. That is the question of x. Okay, now to get the two values of x in this quadratic equation, what I need to do is I have to change the signs of these two factors. So if I change this negative sign as positive sign, so the first value I'm getting for x is 2. To get the second value, I have to change the sign of the second factor. So here it's negative. If I change the negative sign to positive, I'm getting 2. So I get the same value for x. Actually, we get two values for x and both the values are same, 2 and 2. So this quadratic equation has only one value uh, for x, that is x equals to 2. Okay, anyways, we got the x coordinate at the point of intersection uh, of the graphs of the given two equations, that is uh, 2, x equals to 2. Now to get the y coordinate, what I need to do is I have to plug in x equals to 2, either into the first equation or into the second equation. So better we can uh, plug it into the second equation. Uh, even if I plug it into the first equation, I'll be getting the same value. So let me use uh, the second equation, that is y equals to 2x negative 3. Okay, now in this equation for x, I'm going to plug in 2. So that is 2 times 2, negative 3. So y is equal to 2 times 2 is 4, negative 3. So I'm getting 4, negative 3 is 1. So the y coordinate of the point of intersection of the graphs of given equations is 1.